if you are that ambitious you need to become a pioneer of innovation so here we're not just talking about integrating new technology we're not just talking about integrating new thinking new processes we're talking about you becoming an incubator for new thinking so the new technology the new processes the new uh, mindset the new spirit the new inventions that are happening are happening within your organization you have become the gold standard of that industry of that uh, system your country your ministry your department your company has become the gold standard people look up to you when people want to remain uh, in the uh, on the cutting edge they come to you and see what you have been doing what you have been creating and adopt that so you become the one who is pushing the horizon further and farther and that requires creativity that requires experimentation that requires innovation that requires creating the right culture that thinks of innovation that cares about being a pioneer that has the commitment and the dedication and the proper leadership so that it can always 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 think about how do we you know make things better how do we take this further i want to give some examples that are known to our times now at least recently you know what the way uh, elon musk and other people and his team have been redesigning rockets the way they've created rockets that can go to space and come back and use them again and what they have done with electrical cars in these two examples in the example of Tesla uh, and electrical cars and in the example of the rocket technology you can easily say that these two organizations have been pioneering organization they're not just on the cutting edge using the best existing technology the best existing uh, uh, processes the best existing methods they're creating new methods they're creating new way of thinking they're redesigning the way the industry should think about its problems or its services or its products this is these are the highlights of the roadmap that a ceo an executive a senior executive a minister a prime minister a head of a department the head of a department can follow if they want to achieve transformation in their organization or if they want to create an organization or a department or a company or a country that is a first class in its line of business in its line of interest in the system that it occupies is it doable yes it is doable is it hard it is very hard very challenging but it has been done and it is currently being done if you look at the industries i am sure you can specify in every industry who is at the cutting edge and who is a first class or a world class or a pioneer in this industry so it can be done what you need to do is to determine and decide what is the kind of intervention you want to make in this department or this company or this group of company or this ministry or this country what is it that you want do you want to make minor soft gradual changes that mainly aim at fine tuning optimizing increasing efficiency increasing productivity is it what you want to do or do you want to change the entire course of the organization into a different direction through transformational leadership or 
you want to go beyond just transformational leadership. Beyond. You don't just do that and stay there. You do that and you keep going forward so that you become the gold standard of this organization, the pioneer of this industry. It is a leadership choice that has to be done. And after it's done, you have to have the right leadership mindset so that you can embark on this very challenging and exciting and absolutely fascinating journey of excellence and brilliance.